love him or hate him, he's officially the chief twit. But how does a corporate takeover actually work? When a publicly traded firm is performing poorly, the stock price goes down, giving outside investors an opportunity to buy low and fix the problems. This is known as a corporate takeover, and even just the threat of a takeover can sometimes influence managers enough to fix the problems on their own. The market for corporate control is alive and well. Elon Musk's bid to buy Twitter was unsolicited, and frankly unwelcome by Twitter insiders. Musk started by purchasing over 9% of Twitter's stock, and then leveraged his position to negotiate an outright purchase of the company. The board of directors even considered using a poison pill to stop him. A poison pill is a way to grant low-cost shares to some shareholders and dilute the equity owned by whoever wants to take control. Other defensive tactics against a takeover include restructuring a firm's assets and finances. Shareholder approval is also necessary for a takeover bid to succeed. Over 98% of Twitter's shareholder vote came in favor of Elon Musk's takeover bid, which paid them approximately a 75% premium over what the company was widely believed to be worth. Since he owned over 9% of the company, I expect all of Elon Musk's votes came in favor of the deal. And once his takeover of Twitter was complete, Elon Musk came in and started making changes, including firing the CEO and other top executives, dissolving the board of directors, and even changing the way that Twitter interacts with customers. Having gained control of Twitter by buying out its shares through a corporate takeover, what now remains to be seen is what Elon Musk will do with the company. How will the strategy perform? What will the company become? Can you find another example of a successful, or failed corporate takeover? What company was targeted? And what happened? I'd love to see your comments. I hope you like the video. Thanks for joining. Have a wonderful day. Take care.